Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Back here with another episode of Teawood Outdoors. We're starting off this video with a nice little bass on the little ultra fly rod. And today we're going to teach you all how to cast a fly rod. Little bass right there. We'll get him back and get into the video. Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Back here with another episode of Teawood Outdoors. As y'all saw, I just caught a small little bass on this little fly that I have up here. Um, and as y'all can see, we are using a fly rod. In this video, I am using a full weight TFO reel with a custom four weight fly rod. Um, one of my buddies actually made me this rod and we are just using the small fly that I just showed y'all that I caught that bass on. So in this video, there are gonna be three main things that you need to remember. 10 and two, remember on a clock, you are going to want to come back to two, go forward to 10. Come back to two, go forward to 10. Back to two, forward to 10. The second thing is God bless America. For this, whenever we come back to 10, we wanna say God bless America and then go forward. Back, God bless America, go forward. Back to 10, God bless America, go forward. The third thing that you're gonna need to remember is, is it's all in your wrist. A lot of people think you're gonna swing your arms way back here. That's not the case. Sometimes if you're fishing on the Gulf Coast, there's gonna be a lot more wind where you're gonna need to use your arm. But when you're fishing little ponds like this with, with lightweight rods, like four weight, five weight, and maybe even six weight, you're not gonna need to use your arm. So the first step is, of course, have your fly rod, fly reel, and make sure that your rod weight and your reel weight match together. Again, I am using a four weight rod and a four weight reel. This is a big part in your casting because you wanna have what is called a load. So whenever I come back, as you can see, the rod bends back. I pull back and then right here is where my load comes from that I push forward with my wrist. I come back, I load it up and I go back. I come back, load up, go back. If you're a baseball player, it's kind of like swinging. Whenever you're in a stance, you're gonna load up for that pitch and then swing through. You're not just gonna swing like that. So again, whenever you come back, so you start with some line, you come back, God bless America, go forward. Come back, God bless America, go forward. Come back, God bless America, go forward. This will get you to have a good roll. Whenever I come back, I just fling it forward and you can see my line twirls in front of one another. So again, come back, 10-2. God bless America, go forward. God bless America, get that load, go, go forward. Also, a very important thing is, you're gonna need some line out to cast. Whenever you're fly fishing, you're not really thinking about casting the lure itself. You're thinking about casting the line, pushing it forward. If I were to cast towards you, as you can see, I have some line out. And if I want to push some line out, I just wiggle my rod like this and some line comes out. So I want to come back, 10 and 2, God bless America, God bless America, God bless America, come back. And as you can see, that line just rolled upon each other. It's a good way to not get your line tangled within the cast. Watch me as I do the 10 and 2 movement. It's all in my wrist and God bless America. As y'all can see, I'm still going 10 and two. It's just a little bit speed up and y'all can really see the load coming in my, in my cast. So once you have your lure in the water at the distance that you're aiming at the fish, you're gonna wanna start stripping. It's just like this. You have your thumb, about a thumb distance away from the actual rod, carbon fiber rod, and you're just gonna have one finger and you're just gonna pull the line through that finger. Give a little twitches every now and then. If you're with a guide and y'all are spot fishing fish, y'all are actually gonna hear the guide say strip, 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 slow down, slow down, strip some more, strip some more. And that, that'll actually target the fish into the bite. So once again, 10 and two all on the wrist. As you can see, I'm going from 10 and two the whole time, just trying to push the line, not the lure, just the line in front of me. I'm gonna start slowing down some because I'm getting towards my place, laying a little line out at a time. Then once I come down, I'm gonna lower my rod and then start my, start my strips. Depending on the time of year, you're gonna want differ, different lures, different, and different time strips. 
as you can see, I'm just doing fast church right now because the weather's finally warming up and the fish are getting a little bit more active and spawning and whatnot. Watch again as I work on my technique, getting that 10 to two action in the wrist and also pushing that line forward, but also making sure that I have enough time to where I'm back loading up my line then to push forward the line to get my fly out farther. So again, 10 to two, I'm pushing that line forward. As you can see, coming back, God bless America. Coming back, God bless America. Coming back, God bless America. And that really gets that motion down, going 10 to two. And then whenever you're ready on the dot, you just let your line go and float forward. As you can see, I'm using my wrist in the action and going 10 to two. If you start going too far back or too far, far forward to where your line's actually touching the ground that's behind you, you're, see how I'm not getting as much a good cast and it's stopping way short. The line it does what's called a crumble to where it just comes up and just wrinkles on itself. But if you come back here, 10 to two, your line will fall out just right, straight forward. All right guys, now I'm about y'all know the basic technique on how to fly 10 and two all in the wrist. God bless America. It's time to go catch some fish on this fly. Stay tuned, just getting started. Hope y'all enjoy. All right guys, so we're up at the front. These bass just went through a cold freeze in uh, about last week. So we're gonna, they're up shallow trying to collect some sun. And then we're gonna see what we can do. Oh. <clears throat> well, that was the first one. Got off a little early. No, he bit it. It was a small little bass. So they're obviously here, guys. Let's get that nip back. Yeah. Let's buy that bait. Uh, Orvis. Yes, sir. There's one. Yep. Small little guy. Just a little tiny bass. There's a ton of these in here. Just finished spawning. Already growing pretty big. Let's we'll toss them back in there. There's one. It's a little bit of a better one. Yeah, there we go. On these little four weight uh, poles, they fight like they're monsters. There you go, guys. It was fun. There he goes.